Ahead of the presentation of Budget 2023 on October 7th, two entrepreneurs told FMT how the Finance Ministry's previous Budget 2022 had helped to not only keep their business going through difficult times, but to even grow it. Louise Chu, who runs skincare company Claire Organics, said the small and medium enterprise digitalization grant had allowed her to not only sustain her business, but also expand it. Due to the struggling that we have uh, uh, for during the pandemic, that we struggle to, to sustain the business in terms of cash flow, Right, and also um, particularly in in terms of uh, growing the business to at, at the segment of uh, uh, digitalizing the, the the system of the business process. So that is when the grant comes in that that um, 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 enable us to um, digitalize our business. So that is uh, one of the very important part in growth in terms of growing the business and uh, 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 particularly helping the e-commerce uh, portions that, that help us to um, sustain the business during the pandemic. Chu said the company's 30% revenue growth would not have been possible without the 5,000 ringgit grant from the government. P. Vengades, who runs a stock feed shop in Sithiawan Perak, said the bank Simpana National Micro Loan he obtained in January this year was crucial to keep his business up and running. Because uh, January is a season where uh, everything high the price was increased. So that means uh, the money we sent him was not enough to be purchased a lot of loans. So once I get the loan, I increased my business by uh, bringing a lot of goods to my store. Vinger Day said he was grateful to the government, finance ministry and BSN for the loan of almost 40,000 ringgit. Budget 2022, which was tabled in Parliament last October, featured various schemes and grants to assist SMEs and micro-entrepreneurs recover from economic hardships and challenges exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Funds for micro-entrepreneurs were channeled through agencies such as Tekun, Agrobank, BSN and Bank Rakyat, while 14 billion ringgit was made available for SMEs through SME Bank, Agrobank and several other institutions. The business financing guarantee limit was also increased, making it easier for SMEs to obtain financing during the economic downturn and the curbs on business operations brought on by the pandemic.